Hey, welcome back. Well, today I'll be talking about the fastest, most direct way、um, to learn a、uh, new language in a few steps. Okay.、Um, whatever your reason for learning a、uh, new language is, you can probably agree it would be ideal to learn it fast. Okay.、Um, now, th- the idea of learning a language, especially when you are learning. It from scratch seems anything but fast. You will have to learn a new grammar, memorize vocabulary words, practice speaking. But, 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 learning a new language doesn't need to be a slow or tedious process. Okay. Although nothing can replace the hard work and effort it requires, you can absolutely learn a new foreign language fast. If you follow the right strategy and dedicate yourself to the process, okay.、Um, the first thing is to set goals. Yeah, the first step to learning a new language、uh, fast is to set goals、uh, for what you want to achieve. When you think about it, this will make、um, a lot of sense. If you don't set goals, how can you know what you want to practice, like you know what you want to achieve,、um, and measure whether you have achieved it? When faced with the、um, idea of learning a new language, most of us feel overwhelmed. There are so many words to learn and so many different ways to study. Um, setting goals narrows your focus, so you can stop worrying about the details and get down to business. Okay.、Um, a few, you know, points that I see are important is,、um, as I talked about setting goals. So,、um, how about fo- focusing on specific stuff here?、Yeah? Like, for example,、uh, setting detailed goals and focus on what you plan to learn, rather than how much you plan to study. Yeah. For example. Um, this week, I am going to learn 30 Spanish vocabulary words related to shopping. Yeah, and then you have short-term goals.、Um, it's good to have an ultimate goal, the thing you eventually hope to achieve. But long-term goals are too overwhelming to motivate you on everyday basis. Break down your ultimate goal into smaller bits and set smaller goals for each,、um, you know, week or month. And then you need to challenge yourself, yeah, but not too much. Goals are work like you know the goals work best when、uh, they、um, make you push yourself. But if they are too daunting, they can actually discourage you. A good way to get around this is to set goals with a range of outcomes. For example,、um, you might say, "I want to learn thirty to fifty new vocabulary words this week." Okay, so the lower number in this range helps you feel the goal is achievable, while the higher number, which is fifty in this case,、uh, would allow you to push yourself. Yeah, and then you need to write your goals. You know, writing down goals helps to helps you to、um, you know commit to them.、Um, post your goals in a prominent place, like your bathroom mirror or the home screen of your smartphone, but so ever wherever you can find them easily. Okay. And then you have number two,、uh, learning the right words. Yeah. Now, languages are made up of、um, you know shocking number of words. English, for example, has between six hundred thousand, like from six hundred thousand and one million words. Okay. Luckily, luckily, you don't need to learn anywhere near that many words to be you know fluent in a language.、Um, consider this: the top hundred words make up about fifty percent of、uh, English language texts. Okay, and the top One、uh, thousand words make up about ninety percent, roughly. Okay. Now, if you look about, look look at the、uh, list、um, of the top one thousand words in these languages: Spanish, French, German, and Japanese. By focusing on learning these words first, you can eliminate a wasted,、uh, you know, time and increase the amount of information you understand very quickly. Okay. And then you have,、um, you know, studying smart. Um, when you when learning your words, you learn faster by using the very best study techniques. Yeah, for example, one of the best ways to learn vocabulary. 
uh, words is to use flashcards. I have tried it, for, you know, to be honest. So flashcards help you to focus on individual words and allow you to test yourself, uh, which helps you memorize new information, okay? Um, you can try uh, the electronic flashcards, um, but you need to make sure to guess the meaning of, of a word before turning over the card. Um, and... and, and as we all know, practice, you know, practice uh, makes perfect. Um, but effective practice makes perfect even faster. So, uh, you know, these are the uh, main points from uh, the number three that I wanted to emphasize on, okay? Um, and then I will talk about number four is start using the language all day, every day. As a beginner, it can, you know, seem overwhelming to try to use the language all day but it's not as difficult as it seems. There are many easy and even fun ways to make the language a um, part of your regular life, yeah? Now, for, like for example, um, make use of every moment you have to learn new words. Uh, we talked about flashcards, yeah, with you, and study them during your train or bus or wherever you go when you're traveling, yeah? And then when you start to feel tired, switch from active learning to passive learning, yeah, by doing what you would normally do in your native language, in your target language. Uh, for example, trying watching a video on, or a TV show, yeah, or streaming radio broadcasts, uh, or tuning to my YouTube channel. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah, so there are many online resources to access entertaining uh, audio and video clips. You can go to YouTube, search for radio stations available and stuff like that, okay? Uh, you may be asking, how can I possibly watch a video or listen to the radio when I only know a handful of words, okay? The goal when you start is not to understand everything you hear, but to familiarize yourself with the sounds of the language, yeah? Uh, even if you don't um, understand much of what you hear, simply, you know what, listen, yeah? And it can have many positive effects, including, you know, um, learning to identify and understand common words and, you know, staying motivated and stuff like that. And then number five, you have seek out real life practice, okay? So some of the best learning happens in real life situations, particularly when you have no choice but to use a foreign language. Um, the easiest way to gain real life practice is to travel or study abroad, okay? Now, I understand not a lot of people can travel, um, you know, abroad and you know um during the quarantine we can't really go out and about so there are a lot of social apps you can um, you know communicate with people over there um so um you know this is the favorite approach uh, of organizations like the peace corps which regularly places people with little or no knowledge of a language okay um, as I said, but even with that traveling abroad, you can immerse yourself in real life situations that give you loads of language practice, okay? So there are a lot of language um, learning apps, or even if there are none, or if there were none, you can just try any other, you know, social networking website or stuff like that where you can meet people, okay? Um, so talking about meeting, meet with a language partner weekly, yeah? or every day, however you like. You might pay your language partner for his or her time or offer to exchange one hour of practice in the language you want. Um, if you don't want to pay, as I said, you can use any social medium to kind of, you know, get uh, to know someone from your target language, okay? Uh, join a conversation club. Many cities and schools have conversation clubs where language um, students meet regularly to practice having informal you know, discussions in their target language. So, uh, again, I'm telling you, if you're at home, you don't want to go out and about, you can just um, use social media, okay, social um, websites. Uh, you can use, um, you know, your online tu uh, you know, tutor or stuff like that. Um, um, or you can just, uh, you know, visit businesses where people speak your target language, okay? Uh, and then we have learning about the culture. Now, understanding a language is more um, than understanding words on a page. It's important to learn about the culture and history associated with these words. Knowing something about a country or culture's history, current events, um, religious uh, beliefs, and common customs can help you understand a lot about what people say and do.
Researchers have found that children learn to read in a second language better when they understand the culture and context behind um, the pieces they, they read. Yeah. So as you begin to study a new language, take some time to learn about the culture of that, um, you know, of the people who speak that language, basically. Yeah. So now you don't feel um, this is a waste of time, even if it's if even if it involves um, reading and watching videos in your native language, it will help you, uh, you know, uh, and can even prevent you from making embarrassing and potentially offensive mistakes. And I understand while recording uh, this podcast, I made a lot of mistakes, but that's fine, because. Um, I don't know. That's fine, man. Like you just need to keep trying, and you know, just keep talking, and then you know, that way you'll be good. Um, even natives sometimes uh, you say if you talk about uh, French or Spanish or whoever, uh, not everyone is perfect when it comes to public speaking, right? That's why we have training. Anyways, um, testing yourself. Um, as we talked about being fluent and he, about natives not being, um, you know, skilled enough to. You know, face the screen, and uh, when it when it comes to public speaking, uh, so testing yourself, knowing that you plan to take a test, is a great way to motivate yourself to learn faster. Uh, try regularly test yourself in little ways, um, like I've done right now. Um, you know, I, I had the option to edit uh, this podcast, right, and re-record, but I said no, let it go this way. Okay, so if you're learning from a textbook, take practice tests or complete the exercises at the end of each chapter. You can also play online games or take online tests. Um, online practice tests can be found in almost any language. You know, it could be French, Spanish, Japanese, and German. Um, planning to take a standardized uh, test uh, several months to a year after you begin learning a uh, new language can also keep you motivated. Um, and last but not the least, have fun. Yeah, to be honest, because we tend to learn best when we when we are enjoying. Okay ourselves so don't forget to make language learning fun right playing games is a great way to have fun while learning games uh, take advantage of um, our natural uh, competitiveness and can help us practice you know um, language skills even when we feel tired so you can also focus on your learning on things uh, you can also focus your you know, learning on things that you find interesting like favorite hobby um, and stuff like that. If you're learning French and fascinated about French politics, then words, um, you know, used to describe political processes and stuff like that. Um, you can make your friends who speak your target language or whoever are interested, okay? So uh, that's uh, pretty much it, and that's my point of view when it comes to learning a language. Um, for the next podcast, stay tuned, and we'll see you with another topic.